in the E6 car, and he's going to tell us a little bit about it. So, Patrick, go for it. Okay. So this is uh, the. Uh, uh, so you can see the uh, uh, battery state here. Okay. And last year we did change. Last year, this bar is the same. Uh -huh. It's the same. And this this year this is for the charging state. Oh, okay. So this is different this year. And here are the transmission. Okay. And while we're in here, he's so, working on this. I want to show them one thing. Okay. We actually have a DVD video player here playing Avatar while uh, people are. Uh, Swarming around the uh, the vehicle to watch it, so or to check the car out. So. The the menu is in Chinese. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Uh, this is for uh, GPS. You can GPS. search the, the destination. This okay. Is the GPS here. Right. So this is a the, the map of China. Right. Okay. And uh, radio. Right. DVD. Telephone. Okay. And, uh, so let's 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 talk about the car itself. This is so you got this wonderful display up here. The car, this is a what generation of the E6 are we in at the moment now? Um, I would say this is the the, the, the batch of the mass production. Okay, uh, so this is sort of what we would call a pre-production prototype exactly, vehicle then. Okay? Exactly. And you were telling me that you're going to bring about 100 of these. About 50 to 100. 50 to 100 of them late this year. To the U.S. Into the U.S. for limited fleet yes. operation set. Yes. Okay. And then after that, you expect to start doing sales in 2012? Uh, 2012, yeah. 2012, okay. Yes. And that will be both. I mean, here we have the E6, and we also then have the F3 DM, uh, which is a plug-in hybrid, correct? F3D, yes. The F3DM. That, that might not be the F3DM, but should be a plug-in hybrid. Will we have a, a new hybrid. model okay. called G3DM. Might be that one, and oh, okay. might be an F6DM or G6DM, or I don't know. Okay, all right. But uh, definitely would be a dual some mode. Some type of dual, dual mode, mode, okay, yes. plug-in hybrid. Now, explain a little bit how that how the dual mode works. So I have, uh, I, I, I'm sitting in my garage, my car is plugged in, I have to go to work, I unplug the car, then what happens? Uh, you can plug in uh, the the, uh, the dual mode in your garage, and you have you have 110 or 20 that works. Right. And uh, it takes overnight to charge to have a full charge for for the vehicle. And for example, if you have a 110 uh, uh, outlet, right, and charge the uh, charge the uh, F3DM uh, in uh, seven to nine hours. Seven to nine hours, just okay. Overnight. So after work or um, um, in the evening, you can just plug in, and the next morning you have a full charged vehicle ready. Okay. And uh, battery only it goes for uh, about uh, six, 60 miles, six, six zero. Okay, miles. six zero battery miles only, as opposed only. to kilometers. It kilometers would be about a hundred kilometers. A hundred. Right. Yeah, okay. About a hundred right. kilometers. So and Can't, after that, the the engine will kick in. Okay. Uh, have you tried done any kind of testing in the winter time? Because you're going to need cabin heat. Let's say if somebody bought it in Omaha someday, they may need heat to, to warm the cabin. That would yeah. probably come from the engine, I assume. For for the uh, dual mode. Yeah, for the dual yes. mode, right? Yes. Okay. But for this one, it comes from uh, comes from the uh, battery. From the battery. Yes. Okay. So the battery gets warm enough that you can actually warm the cabin and and heat the. Uh, That's right. The froster and things like That's that. That's right. Okay. And also the air conditioning. Right. Okay, I assume that probably ends up impacting the range some, because this you're saying this is two hundred and five, two hundred and five miles, two hundred and five miles per charge, per charge, per charge, right? Uh -huh. So if I turn the air conditioner on, then it's probably going to drop some, I would think, or not. I would say five to ten percent. Five to ten percent. Mm -hmm. Okay, and probably the same thing with the heat. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good. Now, do you have a sense of what you think the car is going to sell for? That is about forty thousand U.S. dollars. About forty thousand U.S. dollars. Before tax credit. Right. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Well, Patrick, thank you for uh, thank you, Abel. taking us and showing us inside the uh, E6 thank from you. BYD. Appreciate thank it. You. Thank Thanks. you.